Hey everybody, the Good and 24 here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to NASCAR Racing 2003 season where today we're going to be starting our championship season. Yes, I decided that NASCAR Sim Racing sucks, so I wanted to do the better simulator instead. We are going to be running the 2001 season with the Cup 2000 mod. The 2001 season is my favorite season ever. I'm very nostalgic for it. So I figured, why not run a full season? I've never done a full season in this game. I've never done a race, really. That was a huge amount either. Uh, but we're going to jump right into it. So let's take a look. We are going to be racing as Andy Houston in the 96, but we're going to be ourselves. I loved this car. I was a fan of Andy Houston. Not huge, but as a kid, I was rooting for him. So I figured, why not see if we can make it the whole year with this PPI racing entry instead of just it getting cut mid-season. So that's who we're going to be racing as. We're going to be racing against all of these people. Dale Earnhardt will be running the full schedule. Nothing bad is going to happen. Also, Harvick is going to be running too, so you'll just have to deal with that. Jimmy Johnson and Ryan Newman are on this list, but I took them off because their stats were terrible. I edited them, and I just it's just they were rookies that ran only a partial schedule, so why not have some of the guys that ran most of the schedule, like Stacey Compton, Maybe, I don't know how many. I don't know how many races he ran, but I just I didn't feel it was necessary to have Jimmy or Ryan in this. So that's what we're doing. We're gonna have some fun. Let's jump into it. Go ahead and head to the championship. Uh, I had done a little bit of testing, so we're just gonna go ahead and overwrite. Oop. Select over. Yeah, there we go. Um, <laughs> so this is what we're gonna be working with. Today, uh, I'm trying to think, 35%, 70 laps, that's going to be fine. Yep, and everything looks good, so we're going to go ahead and get ready to start the race here. I'm not going to qualify for this first race, just because it's Daytona. We'll come through the back, we'll have fun. Uh, let's turn that up, 2%, to your car. and let's go. I really wanted to run the, the roof cam... But I I can't because the the hood is like glitching in the reflection or or something. You can kind of see it from here, but it's not really noticeable. I don't know if it's something with my graphics, with the mod, or with the things I downloaded to make the game look a little better. I'm I'll be fine. We'll run cockpit. It'll be fine. Hopefully you'll enjoy it. I didn't want you guys to be annoyed, so. As I'm waiting, yep, just like that. So, anyway, uh, a little self promotion before we get started. As always, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, there's channel membership options down below if you hit the join button. Thank you to my channel members, all six of you, who are uh, supporting me monetarily. You can join them, but you'll see them at the end of the video. Thank get you. Also, if you hit the link in the description, you can sign up for the main lap newsletter. If 30 more of you do that, I get to be on their podcast. So let's go ahead and get ready. The 2001 NASCAR season is underway, and I need to shift. <laughs> but here we go. We've got a good run. Let's give a little bump here to Hut. We're going to get underneath him, actually. Uh, I will say one of the biggest problems I have with this game is I can never make a full race. I treat this like a video game, so I never really get the full race in because I always cause some stupid crash because I don't really care what happens. Since we're doing an actual series here, I'm going to do my best to, you know, make it the whole race. If we crash, if something happens, if we're the AI Rex and we're a part of it, we're going to leave it because we're going to try to treat this like a real season. So for better, for worse, we're going to try to have some fun today. As we are moving up, there's Dale. He His ratings were low too. I edited them to the best of my ability and he's still kind of slow. So we'll see what happens. As we're underneath Buckshot, he was one of my favorite racers in 2001. My three favorite drivers were Jeff Gordon, Jerry Nadeau, and Buckshot. My family called me Buckshot because of how much I liked him. Um, so, I, I really knew how to pick him. Jeff Gordon was like, a, a, my mom said, hey, root for Jeff. For, well, she said, root for the rainbow car because my dad was an Earnhardt fan. I chose Jerry Nadeau and Buckshot Jones all by myself. As you can see, I know how to pick him. I... 
I think I started liking Jerry because he won at Atlanta. So I never really got to see him actually win after the fact. I bawled my eyes out at Atlanta 2001, even though Gordon won the championship, and uh, Sonoma in 2002. So I had, I'm glad I had Jeff performing well because other than that, it wasn't too good for me. Okay, we're slowly moving our way up towards the front. Well, we're slowly more working our way towards the top 30 as we don't really have a lot of drafting help at this exact moment. We're just keeping it all on the bottom. Sorry, my dog was barking. But okay, uh, we got 67 to go. I believe we're just gonna have to make one pit stop. And I'm unsure if I want to take four or two tires. Todd Bodine and get around him. We're clear. Let's just go ahead and move up behind the 01. Stay with him. Try to get a good angle into the corner here. Hi, Gia. I'm recording. It's fine. You're good. Sorry, my. Ford Exchange student just got home. I'll cook dinner when I'm done. Huh? Okay, we've got a good run on Stacy Compton. We're going to take a look underneath him here. There's a couple dodges in a row. Not really doing too much. We're going to scoot underneath them. The fuel is surprisingly staying packed up. They're, try they're trying to get three wide on the top. The top doesn't work. This is like a conveyor belt where whoever gets to the lead runs there for a minute. They go to the outside line, and then the bottom just moves up a row. So this is base in our 2003 track files at INI. I, I haven't messed with them whatsoever. I turned the uh, roof flaps off, that's about it. So we're just we're just doing the base in our 2003 experience. I, I need to figure out how to get some more tracks and mods, obviously, but I wanted to run through just the base game, kind of how it was in 2001 for that season. So we'll see what happens as they are now three wide again. Jeff and Dale Jr. are working together on the top lane, and it's not working. So they're going straight to the back. It's, oh, we get a little tight there. I do like this uh, cockpit cam. It feels good. I, the last time I played this game, it I really struggled with running in cockpit. I always just ran roof, but for some reason now I feel like I've actually got... Oh, Sterling. Goodness gracious, buddy. He's gonna, I'm gonna just let him go. Goodness, this buckshot is trying to follow us through. We are almost into the top 30. Dale's got a big run. Can Jeff get clear so he can get to the second lane? Yes, it looks like he will, as John Andretti's gonna fall in behind him. All right, Dale actually cut in front of us. As we are a little. The handling of the car isn't fantastic right now. We're a little tight. Oh, big check up there. Now Jeff's behind us. We're in between. We're a hot shot rookie in between two of the biggest drivers in the sport right now. Oh my gosh, another humongous check up. I had to lift so hard. Jeff ended up just going to the second lane. There's now like three cars on the outside lane or the third lane. That was a, that was a Big, big checkup. I don't know what the deal was there. As Rusty is on the far outside. Jeff's going to try to come down in front of us. I'm not going to let him. We're going to fill that hole very quickly. Come on, Buckshot. Come on, buddy. You can do it. I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to will him with, with me, but Jeff's going to fill that hole. 
So we are now up to 28th into the top 30. With this 3x3 three three action, things are getting a little spicy. We've got a big run here. We're at bottom of three, though. I, I burped it just a little teeny bit. Jeff is... I'm, tr I'm a little concerned with him trying to get to my outside. There's nowhere for him to go. Oh, another big checkup, and we got super loose into the corner. This is interesting. I am on edge. Oh, no! We just... Uh, oh, and we just... Oh, my God! Ah! And we just caused the big one. Oh, oh, my goodness. And we somehow weren't a part of that. We just caused the big one at the back of the pack. Oh, my God. We'll take a look at that here in a second. But we need to get around and get back to the line. That was a disaster. That was, I didn't know where Michael went, and I was freaked out because he was gone. That's going to change the complexion of everything. Jeff was involved, and I think he got pretty good damage. Obviously, he won the championship in 2001, so that's going to make things a little difficult for him right off the bat. But we'll see what everybody looks like here as we come through here. We race back to the yellow flag. I don't see any... I don't see any cars yet. Oh, everyone's checking up. Okay, let's take a look and see what actually happened. I mean, obviously we caused the crash, but <laughs> okay, we'll take a look here. Oh, it's already on. Okay, so we come off the corner. We're at bottom of three, and we push up just a little bit into the 15 who hooks it down to the bottom so at this point I'm freaked out and so like we're halfway on the apron and we come up because I'm waiting to see where Michael goes and we come up into Jeff who gets into the 17 and so they are basically crashing so Buckshot is in a good spot right here he's, he's like I'm just gonna get to the bottom the 15 car comes up and hooks the 88 they both go into the wall awfully hard, and Buckshot, since he had that weird little angle, doesn't have a good angle, comes up a little bit, gets hit, clipped by the 88. He's just going to spin. Is he going to get hit by anybody? The 88's spinning like a top. Oh, please don't run into him. Oh, Rusty. Buckshot was going to be fine. That's a bummer. Poor Buckshot. Oh man. Okay. Let's uh let's get some um, other angles here. So All right, let's go back to the 88. Uh none of these angles are really any good. Uh how about just the top? So he gets spun around, hits clipped by the 66. The 30 is barely involved. Mark Martin a little damage too. Ooh, Dale Dale might have some damage down there, too. Let's take a look at how the 26 was involved. He checking up, he gets hit and clipped. Oh, yeah, Rusty's in it. Jeff, how did Jeff arc a break into his own crash? Like, how is that possible? I want to take a look at this. So, let's take a look at his hood view. And, all right, so here I am. Let's actually go back a little bit. So get that. There's me clipping the 15. I'm a little rattled, so I come up and hit the 24 really hard. So he gets into the 17. 17's got some damage. Jeff is actually okay. And so he's speeding up, even though cars are still spinning. And he he's lucky he didn't ram into the back of the 43 really hard. But he still rammed into the back of the 6 really hard multiple times okay so that's that was the crash we're gonna come and take four tires I don't know where that's gonna put us in relation to pitting on gas but whatever
Oh, we're wrecking under caution. Our teammate, the 32 and the and the 19 of Casey Atwood. What on earth just happened there? This is a wacky Daytona 500 so far. So now he needs to get in line. Looks like Dale Earnhardt came out right behind us. We are in 25th. That was probably a decently sized wreck. Probably maybe 10 cars got a little piece of it. Let's downshift here. We're going to definitely come in and pit. Because why not? We'll go ahead and take some freshies. Uh, get it filled up with fuel. Go a little bit longer if we can. Kind of wait out and, and give us some options when it comes to pitting under green. But I hope you guys are enjoying this so far. Uh, this is more of a... I'm not treating this like a career mode or anything. Or doing like a story. This is just me having fun with this game that I've never played extensively before. So it looks like everyone's going to stay out. Which is more power to me. So I think it's 55. Uh-oh. 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 Remember, don't pass the stop sign. Oh no, we just got Oh no. Oh no. Okay, so we just completely biffed it. We biffed it hard. And now we've got rear end damage. The pace cars in turn So we're gonna have to go back around. Oh my gosh. See this is part of the the experience where I don't know how this game works. So I didn't realize I was gonna get absolutely demolished. We're gonna come back and get well, now we're gonna get our damage fixed and, okay, and get four way. tires because oh that's terrible all right we're gonna come back down pit road and not and not miss our box this time keep it under four thousand in second Pass the three car all right well we just lost exiting the trial you're too far back Pull oh up. too far back okay we lost all our track position from that so that sucks let's take a look at this this animated pit crew not too bad I don't know as you can hear I'm already starting to beat on the, the car in turn one. all right we'll, we'll we'll wait it out hopefully it's not too much damage it's all in the back end so we should be fine all right we're getting ready to go green we are last so we've got to be careful about not uh, getting trapped behind these damaged cars and uh, losing the drafts. So we're going to have to do our best to take off and try to get around for sure the 15, the 24 up there. Like some of these guys are really damaged. And this is all my fault. I missed my box and we got damage from it. So I could have just stayed out, but I wanted to make sure we get the damage fixed so we don't have to try to fix it later if we don't get another caution. So we're going to try to get a good jump. I say that, but I can't get too good of a jump. So we're going to get to the inside of the 15. I can't pass him before the line. There we go. And here we go. We're making a humongous move. Because the 66 is slow as dog shit. Oh, this isn't good. This isn't good. This isn't good at all. Come on. Please get a decent run here. We, we might actually lose the draft. I don't know what the 66 is doing. Is he that slow? Is he down a cylinder? As we have a huge run here on these guys. I have just got... Oh, no, 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 no. Jeff, 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 come on. I've got to go. So I'm going to be no mercy. Get the hell out of my way. As you can see, everyone's kind of getting strung out. We've, we've just got to do our best here. Mark Martin's got a lot of damage too. Like this is this is all my fault. It's karma for causing the wreck for one. But we are we are in trouble. We are in big trouble here, folks. Like Jeff is horrifically slow. I'm going to try to push the 92 by him because what other option do we have? And if I cause a wreck by bump drafting, I really don't care. Clear. 
Oh, this is this is not good. This is not what we needed. We, we weren't very fast to begin with, and now and now we're stuck, or we're gonna lose the draft because of that. I should have just stayed out and and dealt with it. Let's take a look at the get my F two up here. Jeff, now is not the time, buddy. Now is absolutely not the time. I'm going to push the 92 car until something bad happens, I'm sure. Because this, this is all I have, is, is pushing the 92. That's all I can literally do. So we lost a second that lap. Oh, no! Ah, hang on to it. Hang on to it. All right. Well, that, that wasn't very good. The the 30 car. car inside. All right, Jeff Green. Can I do this without... All right, he's fine. He's fine. We're fine. That was that was payback. We're, I just needed a yellow, really. Like, <laughs> uh, we should have wrecked there and won. And I, I took it out there. We, get, we, will probably get called to the NASCAR hauler after the after the, the race. We'll see what everybody does here. What lap are we on? Okay, we're under caution. We're still, we still can't make it on gas. But it, we'll see if it's worth it to pit again. If everybody pits, I'll just take two. If everybody stays out, I'll just stay out. So. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. Oh, we did. Oh, oh, Stacy Thompson just ran into the back of the field. As we need to let all these guys go. Let him by. Goodness gracious, Stacy, that's embarrassing. And I've done some embarrassing things today. <sighs> yep, the 90 car is a bunch of rear end damage. That sucks. Okay, we're going to get this, keep this up just in case we're going to pit. If we pit, we're taking two. Just because. Looks like we've got a bunch of people coming. We got a, a decent mix of people staying out and pitting. Oh no, some of these guys are staying out that uh, probably shouldn't be. Let's go ahead and uncheck our left sides, get ourselves some track, some track position here. Oh no, I can't get a black flag here. Okay, here we go. Oh, I don't need. I don't fix the damage. I didn't need any day. If I would have, <laughs> I didn't mean to. Go, 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 go. go, go. Keep it under 4, in well, there goes our track position. It was basically a normal pit stop. In turn two. And I still got passed by a bunch of these slow guys. Oh, this is not good. All that for nothing. I guess there was more damage to fix, but okay, whatever. Hopefully it'll help us be a little bit quicker. That sucked. So this restart's gonna be stupid. We have a few of the normal contenders up front, but look at look at that. We have Jeff Gordon in ninth, Michael Waltrip in tenth, Stacey Compton's eighth. He wasn't that slow. But some of these guys that were slow and holding us up back here are up front. Which means that it's going to be a madhouse, and the leaders are probably going to get away. So we need to do our absolute best to get going and just move up as fast as we possibly can. We are 37th, I think. So we are not great. Like, every time I have a chance to get some track position, we blow it. So, you know, that's how it seems to go. But uh, we're going to do our best. And just see, we can, we're 
10 laps short on fuel, fuel. So we're just going to have to do our best and, and try to, to get up front as fast as possible. Some of these guys are going to be slow, like the six. We're just going to have to drive by them as fast as we can. Try to get another good jump. Here we go. Let's get ready. Someone's pitting. We're going to the inside. That's odd. All right, the green's out. Oh, we've got... He's in the grass. I can't pass too early. Okay, we're fine. Who is that? What happened? He's still in the... <laughs> Uh-oh, Mark, get out of the way. Oh, that was Stacy Compton. What the hell? Oh, we've got some big chicken up up here. I'm going to go top. I got nowhere else to go. We're going to go top. Oh, and now I have really nowhere to go. Oh, God, this was a mistake. I just had to keep my foot in it, though. As you can see the discrepancy here, we've got two packs, almost three. And now we have nowhere to go. I just need to get clear of this four car, but I have no help. Oh, this was a bad idea. All right, I would just like to get to the bottom again. Okay, fine. All that for nothing. Literally, we didn't... Did we pass anybody? We had such a huge run, but since we got stuck on the top, it didn't matter. As the field is getting strung out, no surprise because of all of the damaged cars. I mean, look at this. There's going to be nowhere to go. We have a humongous run here. And there's going to be nowhere to go with it. Oh my god, we are flying. Ah, uh, whatever. Send it. It's time to go. We've got to try to hang on to this pack. And Stacy Compton is off of pit road now. That was a hell of a move. I don't know how we got that to work. No. Absolutely not. Throwing the block on Bobby. As we are catching this pack, because Jeff Jeff Gordon's leading it, and he should not be. I knew this was what was going to happen. As we are doing all we can to block Bobby, I need to keep him behind me just for pushing's sake. As we seem to be catching this little pack up here. There's a lot more of us here, so once we get Jeff rooted out of the way and the fast cars up front, you'd think we'll be okay, as we're going to have a huge run coming down the back stretch. And we're going to go to the bottom if we can. Send it under horn today. Ah! So I forgot to mention our, our rookie contenders. We're going against Hornaday, Kurt Busch, Kevin Harvick, Jason Leffler. I'm sure I'm forgetting somebody. But that's it right now as Jeff is holding everybody up huge, hugely. As we somehow got, got stuck onto this pack, let's hope that we can somehow run uh, down the leaders. I'm not too optimistic, but I'm going to do my best to stay in line and push if I can. But I would like to get clear or get someone behind me so I don't have to worry about maybe losing the draft. They just need to get Jeff out of the way up there. So we are now going three wide for no discernible reason. Like, that's not going to help us catch them. Like, listen, I don't care who leads this pack, but just go. <laughs> so here comes Jerry Nadu. He's got a huge run coming to us. I could use the push. As we, uh, the car of John Andretti lost the pack. No, Jerry. 
And that's checking everybody up here. So we're going to send it under Mike Skinner. Goodness gracious, these lap cars are something. Hopefully everybody gets spread out pretty good so the leaders will be like in lap traffic by the end of this race. I'm trying to look at how far back we are. Six point seven seconds. So hopefully we can start to reel them in with this giant wad of cars we have here, but who knows? It's not helping that I am not up to snuff with these guys either. We're coming. We lost about half a second that lap. So we just need to get in line and, and go, really. And I know I'm not helping. I'm not the fastest car whatsoever. Come on, Kevin, just get in line. So I got Ricky Rudd all over me. Oh, no. Uh, it's like since he pulls out, he's not in the draft, and that allows us to kind of gap him a little bit. I'm just barely hanging on to this little group here. We're gonna get a nice and deep. we're gonna get a nice little run here. As we do, ha oh, I think we're catching them. I think we are. Went from 7.28 to 6.59. Oh yeah, we ca we caught them big time. I don't know why, if it's because we have a giant pack now or what, we are catching them quickly. Oh, I see. Somebody up there is, is holding them all up. Works for me. As you can see how slow we are, we're just getting eaten alive. I need to protect the bottom. They are three wide. I am just doing a terrible job at... And keeping up like we are so we're so slow. Dale Jr.'s getting caught behind somebody. We're going to the outside. We're going to the outside. Kurt. Oh my gosh, that was nuts. All right, come on, Dale. I'll ride behind you. So we're still only five seconds back. The 66 car is horrifically slow and just slowed up everybody. And now we're all spread out once again. So as you can see, lap traffic is going to be a huge part of this race. I need to try to stay in front of them if I can. And then once we get a bigger line, fall back behind them. I need to try to get up to Dale here, but like, I don't, I don't think I have the car to do that. Five and a half seconds back. If I could just get to... Oh, Ward's there. All right, Kurt. Let's go. Let's try to lock on here. I know I'm not the fastest car in the world. Finally, we're getting this group grouping back. Picking up speed a little bit. Here comes Harvick with the big run behind us. This has been a very interesting race. Spread out, obviously, but like it's it's been interesting so far with the lap cars. Throw a little block on Kevin there. As we are halfway through this race now. I have got to. I feel like Quinhoff blocking the 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 lead back for, with uh, at the Daytona 500 when he got himself wrecked. Come on, just get to the 22. I'm going to let him go if he can get underneath me. Which, never mind, he's not. 
Now, Ward's trying to pass Dale. I don't know how good of an idea that is, but listen, as long if it gets me to their back bumper, I'm cool with it. Oh, Ricky Red's got a big run. We gotta block him down to the bottom. There's another little pack up here. It looks like we're probably catching. We lost a little time to the leaders that lap, but hopefully with us getting packed up here, we'll be okay. Come on. All right, they've got the draft, so they are in good shape. That's fine. If I, I, I'd rather get in the middle of this pack than be closer to the front. Give me some, give me more draft to work with. So far, it looks like that's helping. Oh! <laughs> wow, that was close. I'm, I'm too, too worried about blocking the 28 that I am staying in the draft, and that's not good. This isn't good. This isn't good. I just don't have the horsepower. I don't know if the damage is hurting us a little bit or what, but I need, man, I need a little something here. We're catching this, this little pack, I'm pretty sure. We've got cars pitting. We have cars pitting. I haven't made green, a green flag pit stop yet, so I'm a little worried about that, but that's going to spread the field out. As Bill Elliott is all over me. I, the, the blocking I'm having to do is absolutely wild. We need to go ahead and check out our uh, pit stop stuff. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let these guys go. We're gonna take no tires when we when we pit. All right, let these guys go. We're up the track a little bit. Oh, wait, Dale Jr.'s pitting now. We got a bunch of cars pitting. Let's just try to stay in the draft here. We don't like. We're gonna do like a splash and go. Like that's all we're doing. So like. We don't want to be on pit road for very long, but I want to pit with a lot of people is the problem. I want to make sure I have help. Because right now we are slow, slow, even in this little wad of cars. We still got 30 to go as well. Like it's it's a little crazy. As we are eight seconds back of the leaders, I was hoping that we would actually catch them a little bit, but it doesn't look like we are. We still have this other little pack. I think we're catching. I've got to keep these guys behind me. If I lose this little pack, we're donezo. He's not in the draft, so I think we're good. Oh, he was there. He was there. And now we're real in real trouble because Ward's getting underneath us. Got to keep the 97 behind me. I have to. Come on. Stay with them, please. So I think we got some more lap cars they're coming up on. Hopefully that'll check them up. Just stay in line. Just hook on to the back of that 55. 
as they're catching this little pack up here. Probably going to be some big time checking up going on. I've got to block Kurt. Yep, big time checking up going on. That's going to actually help us a lot if they actually check up because I'm going to fly by a bunch of them. All right, big run. Big run. We're going to the bottom. How many can we pass? A few. We got a few. Like, because we, we just cannot lift. We just got to keep our foot in it and, and just, just keep on trucking, man. They are getting, they're not caught up behind me, though, is also a problem. As the 66 car, once again, is being in the way as they're pulling away from me. Oh, this isn't good. We're just not quick enough. We've got too much damage or something. Like, we just, I can't stay with them. Let's see. Okay, we're not repairing any damage when we pit. All right, there's a line of cars behind me. Oh, we've got a caution. We've got a caution. I don't know why. Or, or, what? All right, let's 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 see what we got going on. This is going to change the race dramatically. Oh, I think I have a guess. The 66 car was slowing in the way and caused, oh, a four-car incident. Five cars. Let's see if we can get a better angle. And we'll just do TV one. All right, so was he trying to get underneath? So he, yes, the 66 car has no idea what they're doing. They're slow and in the way. And so they they spin around. Jeff Burton got very lucky. Uh, four cars, Hornaday Day involved too, five cars. Anybody else gonna come in here? Nope. Oh no. The 30 car's about to fly into the 14. <laughs> okay, so we're in 11th. This is actually worked out amazing for us. All these guys that short pitted are in trouble. Uh, we're going to come down. Oh. oh, come on. We can only go six more laps on gas. Ah! So, hmm. It's recommending me, we're gonna go a full can just to be safe. It recommend it's recommending me a half can. Uh, so I can go 16, yeah, we're just gonna do a full can of gas. Just to be safe, I don't wanna do something stupid. We'll give you one can of fuel. Uh, we're good on tires, we don't need to, to, to do that. And let's see if uh, the 30 car plowed into the back of that incident. Just because I'm nosy. And, man, we've had... Oh, yeah, he was definitely involved. Right into the back, and the 66 got it for good measure. Oh, no. Jerry. Jerry. Oh, no. Right into the back, and the 43 is involved, too. Jerry. Jerry, man. Okay, it's going to be interesting to see what the field does here. Some of these guys have pitted already, like Dale, but he's he's a lap down. So they're going to be on the tail end of the lead lap here. It looks like everybody on the lead lap's pitting because they, they, they have to. So we cannot miss our box. No mistakes. We're going to be slow, so like we, we're going to have to do our absolute best. The leader is way ahead of everybody. Limit 55. Keep it under 4,000 in second. All right, here we go. We got the first pit stall. All right, good. Good, good. Wait, why are we taking tires? I thought I unchecked those. No! Well, that sucks. I'm so angry at myself. I was just... I did... 
Islanders oh, I'm so angry. I did not... Oh, man. The pace cars in turn two. All that... For... Oh, I'm so angry. Okay, you're clear of pit lane. I'm so Team mad. <sighs> I'm so mad. I thought we unchecked okay, them. Maybe going back through it accidentally turned them on. Oh, man. So we went from just outside the top 10 to probably mid-20s. With a slow car. I'm, I'm devastated. I'm so upset. Oh, my gosh. So as we're coming back to green here, we are 21st. But there is a bright side. Yes. So first place, the top four cars stayed out. First place is Dale Earnhardt, who I think is okay. I don't think he really has any damage. Second is Jeff Gordon. Or, no, second is uh, the 43 of Andretti, then Gordon, then Michael Waltrip. All three of those cars have damage. So that means they're going to be slow as hell. Now, Dale... Uh, senior could pull away from the pack but I don't know if he has to pit or not I think he surely does but the other guys are going to be slow as hell hopefully they get stuck behind these slow cars and we can make some moves and get packed up here so we're just going to have to be on our A game I'm going to try to get a good restart here and get to the bottom we learned that going to the outside doesn't really work unless you have a massive run alright good jump I'm just moving the 22 out of the way. We're going. We are going. All right, teammate, come on. Help me, Ricky. Ricky. Oh, there we go. That's exactly what I thought was going to happen. They are packing up everybody. I need to try to get a run here off the back. There we go. There we go. Exactly what I wanted to happen. We're going to take advantage of this AI. Outside. You're on the bottom. Three wide. You're on the bottom. Three wide. You're on the bottom. Three wide. I don't know what's going to happen going forward. Because Dale's up there with the lap cars. That was unbelievable. Why did they stay out? <laughs> that was so dumb. As John Andretti's now pitting, as is Michael Waltrip. Why would you even do that? Why? Like, what... What did you have to gain by this is like i racing logic times a hundred times stupider so dumb it's bill elliott's all over me we are slow but we have four tires so hopefully that maybe will mean something i just i need to catch these guys up here which i just don't think is going to happen we we just have i think our damage is really really hurting us But I don't, even, I don't even know what place we're in. Let's take a look here. As Dale... Oh, we've got all sorts of problems up here. We've got... I think Tony Stewart just took the lead. Dale's pitting. I've Bobby, the, Bobby Hamilton is underneath me. This is... This is... This, the lap cars are making this 200% stupid. So we're going to root our way through here. I cannot lift. But now we're in trouble because that allowed me to not get, like, I have no help. Oh, my gosh. All right. Well, we've got to run, but we're stuck on the, oh, no. That's the six of Martin. I can't let him hold me up. Oh, we're clear. Oh, we've got another wreck. Oh my gosh, I bet that was related to Mark. As now we are, what, what are we in, fourth? Oh no, Park's way up there. So we are sixth. Steve Park was gone. A few of these guys got their laps back. All right, let's check up. See, we, we are slow. We are just horrifyingly slow 
But we are making it work. Oh, Dale didn't get his lap back. Stay behind the nine car. Let's take a look at what happened here. As I have a good guess. As the six car is already in the pit, so that will probably tell us all we need to know. Oh, the 33. Oh, no. Oh, this this must have been in relation to... this. Okay. So, did he just blow up? Like, what? He literally blew up. So he was already slow, and then he just blows up going into three. So everyone's checking up. Mayfield's just... Mayfield, I don't know. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Sorry, guys. I hit the wrong button. So. <laughs> These lap cars are... Oh, that is a massive crash. Okay, so he... Compton just flies into him. Which takes out, you know, them. And then... Why were they not slowing down? Oh, my God. And they're still coming in after the fact. Guys. Guys. That is a massive impact. Like, that is a massive impact. And then the 97 just T-bones the 92 who goes flipping wildly. Like, oh my god. Like, this is like Scott Wimmer. Like... What on earth is going on? So that, what a massive crash. What a, look at that. Look at that. That's going to be thumbnail worthy right there. Like, and I didn't even do it. Like this is, oh my gosh, there is a lot of torn up race cars. And then they just, after the fact, just flying right into it. So, okay. We still got 19 laps to go. Like, <laughs> Oh, man. All right, so here is the scoop. There is... We're coming around to 15 to go. We are P6. Obviously, we are slow. We're going to have to do all we can here to to go. Steve Park, for some reason, is very OP. He, he is flying. So we're just going to have to to get after it. I don't think we're going to win the race. I don't think there's... I just don't know how we're going to win the race because we're not going to have the car to get the run unless we have a huge run and bump somebody. So we just need to try to hope and get a top five here and, and do our best. Uh, take a look real quick. There is only 21 or 22 cars running right now. I, I mean, on track. So like everybody else is on pit road or retired. So this has been a race of attrition for sure. Here we go. Getting ready. Green's out. I am all over the back of the nine. I'm going to get to the inside of him. We got a good jump. The more cars I can pass right off the bat, the better. As there we go. We're going to move up to, I think, like fourth right here. And we've got to run on these guys. Dale is just the odd man out. He might be blocking for his teammate. We've got the run on Ricky. I'm going to show my nose. Can we get underneath him? We can. As Tony's going to fall back, we're going to try to get second here. This might just let Steve Park get away, though, is the problem. So we just need to protect the bottom. I'd rather Ricky, like, just get ahead of me so Steve doesn't get away. We are third, but we are going to have to do some heavy blocking. Honestly, our best shot is, like, being third and there being a caution and getting, like, a lap. Look at them go. Like, we are, like, we are just that slow. As Tony's gonna get around us. I had to protect the bottom. If we if we go to the outside, we're in trouble. And so now we are going to fall back. Oh, this stinks. 
we we this the damage that we have is hurting us immensely. We weren't that fast to begin with anyway, but all right, just need to try to stay in in line here and get as much speed built up as I can to try to get back to these guys. Uh, it's just impossible because, like, I got cars lined up on the bottom. I want to stick with the draft on the top, but I can't do that. I'm going to lift. I'm going to let some, some more cars go just because I want to, like, I, like I, we, I've got to be in a, a, a pack to be halfway decent. A top 10 here is all we really need. So, like, all right, come on, guys. Let's go. Like this, they just go to the outside, and I have no, I have no help. This, this is just so frustrating. Like, we need some lap cars. Like, 100%. That's, we, we have to have some lap, car, lap cars. As I think we're, like, back to, like... Oh, my... Okay. So, that was my fault. 100%. But we're going to keep our foot in it. Oh, and now we're in trouble because now we're behind some of the really slow cars. So, I, I, I mean, I should have known better than that. That was, that was silly. Okay, well, we're coming around to seven to go. We are the last car on the lead lap, tail end of the field here. Dale Jr. is a lap down, but for some reason he's still in second, so... Steve Park's got a blocker. It's kind of like the real 2001 Daytona 500. You've got the two DEI cars, and unfortunately, I think Dale is like uh, mid-pack. So we're just going to have to try to get a good run and uh, see what happens. We, we're behind Jeff Gordon and John Andretti, so we're going to be in trouble in that regard. So I'm just going to have to figure it out, I guess, because they're going to get away from us. and. Here we go, getting ready. Green, green, green. I'm cheesing it a little bit. As much as I can. Alright, I'm just trying to get around these damaged cars. Oh no, Michael's gonna come down in front of me. No! 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 Okay, well, we're we're so far so good. We really cheese that, but I don't care. Just trying to stay tucked up if, as best as I can, because I know they're going to pull away from us. A top 15 would be pretty, would be okay. A top 10 is really what I would like, but I don't think that's going to happen. Unless some of these lap cars are that slow to where, like, they get, they catch them in six laps. Which... It's very plausible, actually, but we'll see. We just need to try to stay in as much draft as we can. We don't really have any help from behind, so we're kind of screwed. We're P14. If we finish right here, I won't be too upset. We did have a chance at a top 10, top 5 even, but, like, the damage we got on pit road ruined us, so. And that's all my fault. So. It looks like they're gone, so we're just going to have to ride here. I cannot believe we have so much damage. Like, I know we also wrecked again, but, like, good grief. So, we're trying our best to hold off Jeff Gordon and Dave Blaney here while catching the 43 of Andretti. We're battling for a top 15 here, really. Last car here doesn't get one, so... Uh, there is some lap traffic that I think... They may ha the leaders may have to deal with. So if we're lucky, there'll be like a wreck on the last lap. Mike Skinner is really effing slow right now. So as is Ricky Craven. So we'll see what happens. Like oh oh, I need to stay behind the 43. 
Don't want the 93 to get to my inside. Good. So far, so good. Like, it's just mere driving. But now I've got to try to pass the 43, which in turn is going to make it harder to block. You see, he's got a huge run. But he's not. No, he's there. Oh, my gosh. Two laps to go. Well, they're not going to get into the lap traffic then. All right. We might end up maybe with 15th then. Now I just got to make sure I hold off Jeff. So this is even more conflicting because, like, I'm sure Jeff is going to get a run on me, but I have got to stay in line here if I want any chance. Oh, Blaney's making a move on Andretti. Maybe we can follow him through. Leaders are taking the white flag. I have no idea who is where. As Andretti is not, he's going to think about it, but he didn't. I'm trying to get as much draft from Blaney as I can to maybe try to get back up to him. Uh, we're clear. No, we're not. <sighs> Come on. I need, I need, I'm not going to have any kind of run. He's just, I'm just too hurt. Let's see who's leading at the white. Steve Park. I don't know why he is so OP. Like, I just don't understand. <laughs> All right, we're coming down the back. This has been a fun first episode. It's been a mess. And unfortunately, we, we, uh, we're we in a little bit of a mess, so we didn't get to uh, really compete for the win. But a top 15 when there's only 20 cars racing at the end of the day isn't terrible. We'll take it. I was actually trying to like sp spit him out. All right, so Steve Park wins by a tenth of a second over Marlin. Nothing really exciting there. Let's. The yellow flag is out. Let's go. Race back to the line. The yellow flag is out. The race is over. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I did too. Hook him one. Ah! Okay. Let's get out of the car. What a what a very fun race we had. I enjoyed it. I sure hope you guys did too. Uh, yeah, just be prepared. Maybe, I don't know how regular this series is going to be because of uh, just the, the, the amount of time it takes to do one of these races. So we'll see. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, well, I guess we need to see the standings. I'm trying to, I need to get a thumbnail. So like, that's kind of where my, uh, my problems arise. So, uh, maybe something like, like this. I mean, you'll see it by the time you click on it. I don't know. Maybe this will be fine. Okay. Let's go ahead and head back to the menu and see what the points look like. Steve Park ekes out a win at Daytona. Good for him. Okay, so next we'll be going to Rockingham. Hopefully we'll be okay there. So guys, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.